Hi everyone, it's Dora here. Welcome to my fourth video of my eyeshadow roulette series. What I do within this series is that I randomize four different eyeshadows from my entire collection. It doesn't matter if they're already in long haul projects, it doesn't matter if they've already got pan in them, just everything that I've got. Um, and I then create one look within the video of all those random shades, hence no eye makeup yet. And what I then also do across the following two weeks or so is that I then focus on each of these four shades individually and I only have to use them one time but um, yeah I then report back with the looks in the following video. So before we get into randomizing the new shades let's talk about the four that I randomized last time. I'm just going to insert the color story from last time here. I did a tiny little video because one of them is so nude on my skin that yeah it doesn't show up so going from left to right that first shade is a mac single and it's this one here that i've had for an absolute eternity um and the shade is called typographic the second shade is this one here called natural and it comes from the revolution chilled palette the third shade is Heating Up and it comes from the Kombucha Kiss palette by Revolution. And that final almost invisible shade on my skin is the shade Dreamy and it comes from the Revolution Pro New Neutral Romance palette. The first look that I did and the first shade that I worked with was Natural, so the green one. I started out on this e.l.f. No Budge Shadow Stick in Rose Gold. Um, features a lot. And then I put a really light dusting of natural that green shade all over the lid and then i use dimension here in the corner that really lovely iridescent pink one i love it so much um i put it in the outer corner and sort of above my crease i also used a nyx eye crayon in emerald city so a green one on the lower lash line and you will find that i did that for the next two looks as well so i'm not going to repeat that now the second look I started out with this Elf Know About Shadow Stick in Perfect Pearl. Here it is, it's brand new. I've only used it that one time. Um, yeah, new packaging. And then I used Dreamy, so that really pale shade um, all over the lid. You will find that I used Dreamy in at least one other look as well. But I really wanted to do one look where I was like showcasing that specific shade rather than just letting it go invisible or just using it, you know, what's the point of like only doing like an inner corner highlight. And then I put this teal shade here from the Revolution Reloaded palette. It's a matte sort of teal petrol type shade. And I put that on the outer corner. And then I put light here on the inner corner. For the third look, I worked with that gold shade and I started out on the e.l.f. Uh, rose gold shimmer shadow stick again as a base and then I put the gold revolution shade all over the lid and then I try to sort of like revisit that gold and purple combo again mm, I'm not sure how I feel about it but you know I tried and I used this shade here on the outer corner I don't know if you can actually see them and then I used this shade here um, in my crease so those both come from an Urban Decay palette uh, with prints. And that was that. And now the most dramatic one. Oh my God, okay. The fourth look, I bought this um, being inspired by a smoky eye look that was really, really fashionable. And on trend during uh, a different decade. Um, so yeah. I use this all over my lid. Um, <laughs> for that look, and I will link it below, I used a tutorial from Lisa Eldridge that she must have recorded in, I think the late 2000s. Um, Cause I had the DVD and I got it at the time. It was in Boots, when, back in the day when she was still creative director. And it was for a smoky eye look. So I rewatched that cause some people, you know, it is obviously on YouTube, so link below. Um, and what she did, she used as base, she used a cream to powder eyeshadow. I don't really have that ish, but the closest I had to that was this sort of paint pot situation here from Maybelline in brown metallic that I am panning or trying to pan in my rolling project pan now. So check that out. 
So I used that, I sort of applied it with my fingers and then used the brush to um, blend out the edges. And then I put that dreamy transition shade on top as well. Even though she doesn't recommend that, she didn't say that, but you know, just sort of, you know, doing my own thing here. Yeah. And then, whew, I went in with that one, let me tell you. And then I used this brand new black eye crayon from Revolution uh, in a sort of really messy way on my upper lid as an eyeliner, which I never do anymore. It was so much fun, it, like literally applying that and the shape that I did, because I was trying to use the sort of shape of the time. So different to what I'm doing now, but it gave me such nostalgic vibes. And then, yeah, like dotted it along my lower lash line as well. And then obviously smoking it out with more of this and a tiny bit more of this because that was still left on the brush. So yeah, so dramatic. It was so fun though. And it was such a, that was like my most fun look even though I put it off for so long. It was the last one I tried out and I didn't dare wear it out of the house. I put that on like literally 10 minutes before I took it off to go to bed, but oh well. It's just nice when you see how different you can look. And also because I was revisiting that, legit revisiting it. Now that I know how to work with my eye shape better and all that time has passed, I think it actually looks far more wearable now than it did when I tried it with that same tutorial back in the day because I didn't know what I was doing. So that was really fun. Yeah. Whew. Maybe I'll bring it back for Halloween. <laughs> okay. All right, but let's do the fun part now and actually randomize some shades. So I'm randomizing four shades between the numbers one and 307. First shade, 239, 114, 250, and 170. Hmm, these are all kind of mid to late shades, but yeah, I'm excited. Let's see what they are. All right, this is quite exciting because I have no idea what any of these four shades are, but I've got the palettes here. Sorry, three of them are Revolution. I have a lot of Revolution palettes. Um, one is Barry M, so that's nice. That's like an independent London uh, makeup brand, family-run business, according to their website. At least three of these four I have never used before and I haven't even swatched them before yet either. So, okay, let's go through them and find out together what they are. Number 239 comes from the Revolution Romance palette. This one here, remember I had Dreamy last time. So the shade we're looking for is called Nostalgic. <gasps> I like it a lot. It's this one here. It looks very pressed glittery. But yeah, yeah, it is a press glitter, in fact. Okay, interesting. Okay, so far, so good. The next one comes from the Revolution Passion Palette and it's called Events. And here's the palette. Okay. Um, I have used that before and it's this sort of purple matte situation right here. Definitely has some kind of pinkish undertones there. So that's cool. Well, yeah, I do like that. It looks far more pink on my skin than in the actual pan. So that's that, okay. The next shade comes from the Revolution Utopia palette. I have never used any of these before. And the shade we're looking for is Arcadia. Arcadia. All right. And it's this gold shimmer here. A sort of rose gold. There's that swatch. Very cohesive. 
Let's find out about the final one. Here's the palette, Barry M, Black Cherry. I've not used any of these shades before and the shade we're looking for is Poison and it's this one here. It's that very cute cherry imprint. Okay, that means that at one point I'm gonna have to hold off using one of these imprinty ones because that's just the kind of person I am. Okay, Poison. Very burgundy, but yeah, more cherry, more pinkish and berry toned than the other burgundies I've been working on recently. Um, what a cohesive color story, oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna go and put on my makeup now and... Then I'll talk you through what I did. All right, be right back. And here's the finished look. Yeah, I really, really enjoyed this. Wow, what a cohesive color story, at least in my book. Um, okay, what did I do? Elf Rose Gold Shadow Stick as a base. Then I picked Ah, oh, these names, they all sound so similar. Events from this palette. So this purple one here, I put that all over my lid. Um, as you could see, probably maybe I went, uh, I went in with two layers of that. And then I used the Berry M Poison on my outer corner. Um, also, I used that on my lower lash line, combined with this Rimmel Brow Metallic Eye Crayon that I also used for tight lighting and on my lower lash line. So that went in two places. And then I dabbed Arcadia from the Utopia palette. This one here, just very lightly over the top of my lid. Um, yeah, I really like the shift that this is bringing out. Wow. I never do things like that. I mean, sometimes, but not in this kind of way. Yeah. I haven't worked with like a gold and a purple like this before, so I'm really, really happy about that. Um, and I also dabbed that on my lips a little bit as well, right at the end. And then last but not least, that pressed glitter nostalgic i only put that here on my brow bone sort of crease um yeah i really like it is it dropping down no if you saw me pick anything up that was my mascara um but yeah i really really like this i'm going to see a musical tonight with my niece slash cousin what do you call your cousin's child there you go anyway and I was too worried that the shades would be like really mad and crazy. So I didn't want to film this video just before I leave. And now I'm kicking myself because I'm like, damn, I'm going to have to take this all off again now because I'm going to go out and have a bath now. Anyways, I'm really excited to be working with all of these four shades over the next two weeks or so. We'll see how long it will take me. I'm a bit busy. All right. And then I'll see you again soon for my fifth video. I hope you're doing really well. Thank you so much for watching all the way until the end. If you're not a subscriber yet, do follow me along. There's lots of panning content here. Um, yes. And if you are panning yourself, I really genuinely love it when any of you uh, leave me a comment and then I always check out your account as well and follow you along. So I'll keep doing that. Um, yes. And for everyone else, have a wicked day. 
and I speak to you soon. Lots of love. <laughs>